What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Ark Survival Evolved. This is Daka. Daka is a just butt ugly scorpion. I'm not a fan of arachnids. I don't hate them, but I don't like them either. I have a distinct feeling that no one will ever love Daka just based on his appearance, but Daka is useful for a reason. So we had another scorpion. It was level 2. I accidentally hit it with an axe one time and it died when I was chopping down a tree because it walked in front of me. And I tamed Daka after. It took about an hour to get the level 20 scorpion. It took a really, really long time. But I think it's going to be worth it. Daka has like 600 HP. Apparently Daka is able to knock things out with its sting as well. And so we're going to play around with that mechanic today. That's something that I actually wanted to feel around for because I've never done it before. And so I want to get a feel for how it works. So if I could find something around here, for example, this parasaur that appears to be stuck behind that tree that would work out fantastically actually that would be exactly the situation that I'm looking for it's kind of like an enemy that's stuck so that I can do science on it figure out how well this works so anyways this parasaur appears to be are you stuck or are you good let's find out let's find out so it appears as though the sting is going let's just watch and see how this goes bad day to be a parasaur but this is exactly so he killed it. Now, how do I get him to sting it and knock it out? Because killing it is a bit much. That's not what I'm looking for. And while that was really, really awesome and he killed it super fast, it's not exactly the thing that I want to happen every single time. And so if we want him to get knocked out, I'm a little bit concerned... See, the problem that I'm running into is I really, 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 really don't want to wait till Trank Arrows to take out some of the more interesting dinos. The downside to this is that we are now, let's take a look at our level. We are level 18, so we got two more levels to do it. I did power leveling. I made like 200 gunpowder and like a bunch of spark powder and it got us to here. And unfortunately, it takes a really, really long time to level in this game. And so we just got to kind of like wait it out. For right now... I think I'm just going to take the scorpion out. We're going to level up a little bit, and let's have some adventures. We'll take a look around and see what we can accomplish here. I've got my bow. I've got my arrows. If we end up losing our scorpion, so be it. But I need him to level up and become more resilient so that he can kill my foes for me. He seemed to do a pretty good job on that parasaur, so I'm hoping it comes out that way with just about everything else. Down this way, we may be able to find some sarcosaurs. I also wanted to explore out this way and kind of like feel out what might be in this vicinity. I'm going to take a look in the water, and I want to make sure that... See, are we stuck here? Like, what's going on? Daka, come here. I got a problem for you to solve. Get him, Daka! Get him! See, I don't like Daka very much with regards to appearance, but Daka's actually pretty useful to have around come the time to murder something. So anyways, I'm gonna have Pancake follow me as well because I think we're gonna have to run this thing down. I have a bow on me, but I'm really, really bad at shooting it. So there is... Did I get him? Oh good, I got him with the arrow. Cool. Well, that's perfect then. Just one arrow to finish him off. It's kind of like one ring to bind them, but one arrow to slay him. And so I picked up my arrows. You actually pick up the arrows not by pressing the E key, by by just walking over whatever it is that has the arrow inside of it, and it should auto-loot all by its lonesome. I don't know exactly what goes into all of it, but that seems to be how it works. Whenever I try and loot it manually, it definitely does not work. And when I do it this way, it works out perfectly fine. We need more meat so that we can make more narcotics. Still wish that I knew how this thing could sting. It seems like he's just like in ass-whooping mode right now, so that's good enough for me. Either way, you and I are going to be best friends. Me and Daka, Daka and me. Being so free up by the sea. Alright, so we're kind of free by the sea anyways. I don't know. We're not totally free to do whatever we want. But I want Daka to level up quickly because it's a useful pet that I think has a lot of utility for the future. I've never seen what's out this way, so I kind of wanted to go and look. We've got a volcano right there. It looks like nighttime is about to fall upon us, which is a little bit unfortunate because it is very, very dark when nighttime comes around and I have trouble seeing. But then again, that is what the torcha is for. So now that we have our torcha... We'll take a look off this way. It looks like there's some kind of, like, volcano or something off in this direction. Definitely some sort of, like... Yeah, definitely some sort of lava extruding object. Oh, no, Sarcosaurus. Ow. So, I don't know if you want to get on that, Daka. I will assist in just a moment. Let me jump off here. Shoot some arrows at this big bastard. And maybe it'll help out. Yeah, Pomino Scorpius, way to go, man. And how did that do with your HP? Let's take a look at your HP real fast. How are you feeling? That took you almost down to half health. So we need to be very, very careful about these engagements. Still, he took it out. So, I mean, that's pretty badass. A Sarcosaurus is really... Ooh, we got a Carnosaur over there. Okay, or a Carnotaur. 
whatever you want to call it. Let's go ahead and harvest this thing real fast before the Carno figures out we're here. I don't want any dirty carnies running up behind us and trying to get us. But if we could solve him real fast. Still got our scorpion. I wonder if the scorpion can take the Carnotaur. It might be a bit much. Let me jump into the lake real fast. I wanted to see if there was any sharks out here. My hope is that the answer to that question is no. But, with regards to that no, you can never tell until you try it out. So Doc is down at the bottom right there. How are we looking on our map? Like, how far out are we? Let's go ahead and zoom in real fast. We're on the back side of our island right here. Next to some kind of lake. Okay. Well, there's a green beacon over there. We can actually loot that, and I am interested in grabbing green beacons while we're here. So let's run off that way. I think if we can manage to get ourselves a green beacon, that will help out in the long term. Save us a couple of materials and keep us from having to spend a whole bunch of time trying to create things that we could otherwise just get for free. I very much like the Parasaur and its ability to cross water. That's actually one of the biggest perks of the Parasaur that I've found so far. It allows me to cross water quickly. He even swims pretty fast, which is pretty cool. I wouldn't expect him to be that fast, given the fact that he has stubby little arms. And things that swim typically have big-ass arms that allow them to pull themselves through water. However, it seems to work out okay. Seems to work out okay. So for right now, we got a Stego over there. Another Pulmino Scorpion right there. We may have to deal with this a little bit safer because there's a Raptor over there and I'm afraid it's going to add. you got to treat this game kind of like an MMO and watch out for things that could add on to your combat and cause problems for you. Daka, what are you doing over here? You fighting him? Ah, shit, Daka. Don't be a hero. Don't be a hero, Daka. Damn, that scorpion's getting dominated. Oh. I don't want to play anymore. I don't want to play anymore. Did we get them both? Oh, we killed both scorpions. Damn, Daka, you're an animal. I mean, I know you're an animal, but at the same time, it looks like we're poisoned or something. So does our health tick down? We've got like a little skull. I don't know. Let's go ahead and grab whatever we can off here because it seems like it'll be pretty awesome. Our prime meat went bad. That's actually a big problem that I've had with prime meat so far. Oh, it knocked me the hell out. Okay, so I don't know what's going on right here, but it appears as though I've fallen asleep. I should revive in just a moment. I think that when you get stung by a scorpion, meh. I don't know. I'll wait a minute. We'll see what happens. All right, so we're back in the hood now. Unfortunately, it appears as though if you get stung even once. Oh, wow, it knocked out... Is Pancake asleep or like what's going on here? Did Pancake lay down? Huh. I've never seen a Parasaur do that before. Y'all right, buddy? Oh, wow. Okay, so our Parasaur is knocked the hell out. So how do I trigger it so that the Scorpion only goes for knockout kills instead of going for real kills? Is there anywhere that I could do that? It appears as though the one that attacked us as a natural aggressor only used stings. However, ours has been using both claws and stings. Is there a way to trigger that? Maybe I have to do it by riding him, Poss? It looks like he ate the other one. Good for you, man. Teach him a lesson. That's what he gets. Although, falling asleep next to a giant scorpion makes me feel kind of nervous. You hope that he's friends with you. He's just going to sit there and be like, You ever noticed how just like... Oh, shit. Okay, so we got a raptor over there. He's doing all kinds of crazy juggling and whatnot. Do we knock it out or is it dead? Do we get it? Oh my god, thank you so much right there. We almost died. I love this scorpion. I know I said you were ugly and nobody would ever love you, but seriously, whew, we got problems right now. We got, we got problems right now. I don't even know what to say about it. We got issues. Let's go ahead and raise your HP one more time because I need you to be in very, very solid tip top before we go up against it. Damn it, there's another one. I can't even run right now. I'm stuck. Oh, come on. No. Oh. Uh, I think our scorpion got him, but damn, we're out here. So we're right on the line of like 70, about halfway in between 70, 30. All right, so I'm going to try and make it back up there. I don't know if it's going to work out like that, but we don't really have much of a choice. I'm going to do the run back. I'll be back in a minute, okay? Well, it's unfortunate, but I, by the time I got back, Pancake is dead, so... Our Scorpion made it, Pancake didn't. It's a little bit suspicious on the Scorpion's part, but no, there was a server message that said that... Pancake was killed by a Raptor, I guess? There's no Raptor around here, though, and there's no dead body. 
So I don't know if DACA did it or what, but either way, let's get our stuff back over here. We're going to take everything from the inventory right there, including the saddle, and get ourselves another one. I mean, I'm disappointed by what just happened, but there's really not much that I can do about it for right now. Rest in peace, Pancake. I loved you. I loved you very, very much. And so now we got to figure out where the hell I got killed at. And so I think it's... There it is. There's my backpack. Take all that stuff from our inventory. We might be overweighed. But I'm pretty happy we at least got our gear back. That's pretty good. So let's repair that real quick. It looks like they tore through our gloves. Probably got a hand up real fast while the raptor is trying to tear our face off. Those raptors, I'll tell you what, man. Those raptors are definitely a problem. Like, even like Carnotaurs and things like that, I've been able to outrun them. But the raptors are just nightmarish in this game. Especially if they come in groups. Like, oh my god. If there's like two or three of those things, your entire army can get wiped if you're not careful. Especially if you're using smaller stuff. But our scorpion appears to have survived it. But the scorpion just couldn't hold it all down, I guess. The only thing left in there are the sunglasses for the T-Rex. So let's go ahead and load up DACA real fast. I don't know what else. DACA carry 200 pounds. Well, good for you, DACA. Good for you. Carry my berries. And if you would, that would be very, very awesome. We've got a bunch of meat in here. And you know what? You go ahead and take that. What's weighing this down, though? I don't think we got a plot right there. Okay. I like it when I have a plot, especially when it's a sinister plot. Unfortunately, that's just a farming plot. So, nah, you know, wrong adjective in the front. Not quite as fun as you would want it to be. What's weighing me down right here? It says that my weight is really, really, really high, but I'm having trouble locating what it... Oh, wood? No, it's not the wood. It's probably the Parasaur saddle. That's like, what, 20 pounds? Where's the Parasaur saddle at? There it is. Take that off my back, would you? Alright, so things we need to accomplish. We need to get another Parasaur. That didn't turn out so great. I mean, we're out here doing experimentation. It's unfortunate that Pancake died because Pancake was one of those dinos that I've had for a really long time. I feel guilty about... You know what? Pancake will be untouched. We will not harvest the body. Pancake will go to the afterlife. Complete. Alright, so we got a little bit of rain going on. We got Dilophosaurs over here. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a little bit safer for a moment. Pulmono Scorpius taking care of Biz. Get an arrow on that one right there. They should be able to take care of it pretty quickly. Put an arrow on that one. Ooh, I killed it with one shot. I didn't even know that was possible. Must have caught it right between the eyes. All right, you guys can do what you will with the ball. Oh, my God. You already picked them clean? Y'all are ruthless. Ridiculously ruthless. So the plan that I had for maybe catching myself a raptor was to get on top of one of these rocks somehow. And then, once I'm on top of the rock, oh yeah, it looks like you can one-shot him. Not bad. Not bad at all. It looks like you can actually get on top of some of these rocks. And if I could make that work, we might be able to slingshot one down while we wait. I mean, it's sketchy. It's very, very sketchy. And plus, we don't know where any more of them are. It might turn into a waiting game, too, over the long term. This sucks. I don't want to walk around. Man, walking is lame. Let me fill up my canteens real fast. There we go. It appears as though we might be a little bit hungry. So let's just cook meat ourselves through it. Yeah, I think this little rock quarry in here might actually be a really good spot to catch a raptor. Like, had I been able to climb onto one of these before the raptor had gotten me, I think I would have been in much better shape. Let's see if they can follow. If they can't follow, I think we might have a plan. I think we might have a plan. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to camp them over here on the beach. Bring all you guys over here. I was going after, like, one of the beacons around here somewhere. I'm going to leave you guys over on this side. Next up, we find ourselves a raptor, don't we? The last raptor that we fought with actually tuned us up quite handily. Unfortunately, there's not much you can do there. They fixed the bow thing, so I know some people have been like, why don't you just use the bow trick to knock stuff out? The bow trick is actually bugged right now. It's not working anymore, so I'm sorry, it's not bugged. It's fixed. I get you. Another one down. Get my hunt on here real fast. And there's another one down. Get my arrows back real fast because I don't like to go through those. They're a pain in the ass to make. Okay, they're not that big of a pain in the ass. But they're enough of a pain in the ass to where I don't want to deal with it. Chop up a couple critters over here because we are going to make it hide armor pretty soon. Instead of that Jekyll armor, I don't know. The Jekyll armor seems to be far too friendly. It doesn't intimidate the enemies like I need it to. Chop up a couple more of these little guys over here. There it is. Well, at least the Triforce is still alive. I mean, that's the bonus that we have going. I liked Pancake the best, though. 
of all the dinosaurs, I enjoyed Pancake the most. Pancake always had witty banter. I think that's why I liked her the best. And she was a good color. I liked her colorations. Unfortunately, now we got to figure out what we're going to do without her. There's a Stego over here if you want to knock one of those out. Might be able to make that work. I heard Stegosaurus is a really, 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 really good at finding berries. We need more rocks, though. Let me find a few more rocks before we go do anything too stupid. I guess I could... Yeah, actually, I could just harvest my own. Let's beat up some rocks real fast. Yeah, don't look at me like that when you're up in my neighborhood. This is what's up right here, trying to get them rocks so I can hit a raptor with them. It's the last time you hit a raptor with a rock. Got to be pretty ballsy to get that one done. And then on the other side, the plus bonus here is also that I need the flint in order to power level tonight. And so I'm going to stay up late tonight, and I'm going to see if I can power level up to 25 or 30. And once we get that done, I think it's going to allow the series to flow a lot more organically. And we'll start capturing some of the bigger stuff. At the moment, I am pleased with the captures we've had so far. Disappointed about having to go get another Parasaur. That's going to suck. I hate running those things down. Sometimes they just don't... I don't know. Sometimes they run too fast for you to catch them. They got some legs on them. It's the biggest problem that I run into anyways. And unfortunately, when that occurs, it becomes a huge, <laughs> huge hassle every now and again in order to like chase them across the entire map just to get the job done. And by that job, I mean to punch them in the head until they are friendly towards you. Alright, I wish I had known the raptors were over here. Unfortunately, traveling around at nighttime, you can see what the potential risks are right there. Let's go off this way. And if I can get up on this rock right here, it's been raining for a while, hasn't it? It has been raining for a while. It's been a while since the sun was... Up. Actually, the sun's up and it's raining right now. I did that today, actually. Today, the weather was weird where I live. Like, it was like 90 degrees, but like... I don't know. It was overcast, but it was like 90 degrees, and it was raining, but it was like a million percent humidity. It was just weird. It was really weird and unpleasant. So from on top of these rocks, I think is the bravest way for us to do this, if there is a bravest way. I also think we could probably get that Stegosaurus over there if we wanted to get really, really, really hoppy. But since he's stuck and not going anywhere, I think that for right now... Can I get over to this rock by jumping? Oh, I can. Good. Good, 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 good. Well, unfortunately, I don't see any more raptors, unless that's one right there, but I think it's a Dilophosaur. Don't think it's going to be that big of a help. Get that one real fast. See if I can maybe get you. There we go. Another one bites the dust. And so since the raptors, I should have made the binoculars. That's what I'm thinking. Is that a Carnotaur right there? Is it stuck? Oh, dude, tell me that Carnotaur is stuck. Oh, if the Carnotaur is stuck, we just hit the jackpot. I have no idea how long this is going to take. This might be like a really, really long, huge ordeal, but I'll take a Carnotaur instead of a raptor. That works for me. Can't ride him to like level 5 million, but hey, might be worth the effort. Let me see if I could beat up a few more of these rocks. I need this one to stay here. But if that Carnotaur is stuck, I need to make sure I have enough rocks to knock him out. How many rocks do you figure it takes to knock out like a mini T-Rex? It can't be that many, right? It's got to be like a reasonable amount, though. Like not a huge amount, but enough to make it where it's not too easy. I got to find some more rocks, though. Damn. Of course, I find the one rockless beach. The one beach that doth not rock in the way that I require it to rock. I think if I can froggy hop in between those rocks, I can get up on top and maybe get that Carnotaur. Maybe. Maybe. I'm not going to check it off the list just yet. Let's go find some more rocks real fast. If we can luck into this Carnotaur, I think it'll make our lives a lot easier. I think they're called Carnotaurs, not Carnosaurs. Pretty sure it's got a T in it. Looks like we got some rocks over here. I'm going to say that I need at least 40 or 50. Like, how many rocks do you figure I need to do this? Let me gather up some rocks, and then we'll come back and do this thing. Okay, so I'm operating under the reasonable assumption right now. And you know what they say about assuming. But if I can climb over the top of these rocks right here and get to the top, we might be safe from the Carnosaur's Wrath. I thought I saw one. And so if we can make this happen, oh, it's going to be so on. I'll take that over a raptor. No questions from me. So can I even... Huh, that one looks like it don't love me like it should. Okay, well, let's try this then. We can go up through here. We get on this one. I mean, I don't mind ranging it down. Yeah, there's definitely a Carnotaur back there. Okay, so... Can I get on top of this rock? 
No, I can't. I'm worried it's going to unstick itself. Which would be really, really unfortunate for me. It'd be a really good day for him. But it'd be like the worst sort of bad day for me. Like one of those bad days where you get eaten by something bigger than you. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like there's a way for me to get up on top of that rock right there. That's what I want. This one right here has a clipping plane on it or something. Yeah, it's got a big ass clipping plane so that you can't walk up on it. Little cheese mode, but okay. He said as he tried to cheese mode down a Carnosaur. Yeah, there's definitely a big ass clipping plane on that one. Okay, so maybe from over here then. I might be able to get him on his tail from right here. I mean, if he doesn't unstick, obviously he's aggroed right now. I think. I ain't trying to do this the right way. That's all that I'm saying. I mean, I would if I had trank arrows or whatever, but... Hell, it seems like he's in no position to argue. We may have to knock out the stegosaur too, though, to get it done. Hooray for trees, man. Hooray for trees. Trying to get him in his ass a little bit more. Who knew? Shoot Carnosaur in butthole. That's how he falls asleep. Hmm. Stimulate the butthole, he falls asleep. It's amazing, isn't it? Stegosaur looks really, really unhappy with my shenanigans right now. How many rocks do you think it takes to knock out a Carnotaur? I don't know. I brought like 55, so hopefully this works. I'm going to reel him back all the way. It's kind of like the Dennis the Menace way to get this done. Hell, I might tame the Stegosaur while we're over here, too. I think it unaggroed. Is that the word that you would be looking for? Is that the grammatically proper tense? What is that parasaur running from? Oh, we knocked it out. So now the question becomes like, how angry did we make this stegosaur? Okay, so I give you meat. Look at all of the meat that I put inside of your inventory, my friend. And so now I got the narcotics and I shall shove them down your throat. This is probably going to take forever, isn't it? I bet it is. What level are you? Level 7? It's a female Carno. Okay. I wonder if it's worth it to knock out the Stegosaur while we're here, too. Let's do it. Whatever. Forget you, Stegosaur. You don't want none. I'll come back once the taming's all done and once we've done all this stuff, okay? I'll be right back. Well, never mind. I'm going to call this the end of the episode is what I meant by that. Hi to everybody. See you all next time, and hopefully we'll have some new pets.